So Paralympic world champion says that she was left speechless after she was told that her sprint briefs were too short and inappropriate. Olivia Breen had just finished participating in the long jump competition at the English Championships when the remark was made by a female official. Now, Olivia joins us now. Um, we're seeing pictures of you in the so-called offending briefs. Uh, and, I, and I know that you've worn them before. How did this problem crop up then? What were the circumstances? How did the official approach you? Lovely to see you, by the way. <laughs> I'll show you them now. <laughs> there they are, the offending <laughs> brief. Yeah, so basically what happened was, um, I just finished the competition, my last competition before selection for Tokyo, um, and I was really happy just having to chat with my teammate, and the official came up to me and was like, can I have a, can I talk to you, Olivia? So I was like, yeah, sure, like, what's up, you know? And um, she was like, I think your briefs are too revealing, and I think you should consider buying a pair of shorts. And I was just taken by, like, gobsmacked, really. And my first reaction was like, are you joking? And she was like, no, I think you should consider buying a pair of shorts. <laughs> so, I, uh, Olivia, I... I no. uh... We're in, I'm intrigued by this because I was trying to work out whether the officials have any responsibility for the attire that the athletes wear. Is it within their remit to say, look, that's not appropriate clothing, we think you should change? Well, basically, in the quorum, before we go out to, the compete, to compete, they check what we're wearing. And say, for example, in the rules, we have to wear a club vest or a national vest. Um, and then... Shorts, briefs, that's no, that's within the rules, you know. But I've never, I've been an athlete for nine years personally, and I've never been told, oh, that's too revealing, that's too inappropriate. Like, it's ridiculous. It's a very strange thing to say, and it, it was a female official, wasn't it, that, that said it. You think if it was a man, there would be accusations of something different as well. I mean, is there any way that you could think that she was you know, trying to be protective or is there any sort of like, what, what was her motivation, do you think? I honestly wish I could tell you, but I think in, you know, the year we're in 2021, you know, you think we'd be past that, but, you know, it's really not right and it's really wrong. I've had so many messages from young girls speaking about it and saying it's happened to them mm. and, you know, we need change and the officials need education because this can't happen. And it was a know? roasting hot day on Sunday, mm. of course, wasn't it? I think it was 32 degrees. And a number of the male athletes, I think you pointed out, had taken their tops off, mm. uh, which, yeah. is, which, which isn't necessarily <laughs> appropriate attire for competing, is it? Did anyone say anything to them? No, no one's saying to them. I had a message from the guy who just asked me, and a male athlete, and he just made the point that like, I have my top off most of the competition because it was so hot, and no one's saying to him. And it just made me really cross that why did I have to go through what I, what, what I went through? And the last thing, I mean, you're a, a superb athlete. You have confidence in your own abilities and the medals to prove it. But I suppose the concern might be that it might really shake the confidence. Of, of a youngster uh, trying to, you know, do their best, wearing something that's that's efficient and appropriate in their eyes for the event, um, to be told that. Um, to be told that, it just made me feel like, you know, it made me feel really cross, and we we can't be told things like that, you know, mm. and. For, like, I've had messages from young girls saying they burst out into tears about it. And it's like, you know, that self confidence, you know, self esteem, and that could break them. But for me, it made me really cross and upset as well and frustrated. Yeah. Because we are living in 2021, not in the 18th centuries, you know? So you need to channel that frustration and that anger that you got from this woman's opinion on, on your attire <laughs> into the upcoming uh, Paralympics and the Olympics. Uh, we know that the team is being announced at lunchtime today. You do know whether you're on the team. I'm looking at the smile. I know you're not allowed to share with us, but I'm looking at your smile. And that sort of tells me a lot. And you're not going to be able to hide the smile now. I, I wonder, though, uh, I'm not going to push you on whether you're in the team. I think we know that. Uh, but... The concern, of course, is we've already seen, I think, six Team GB athletes are having to isolate because someone on the mm. plane, uh, they got pinged because someone on the plane had COVID uh, concerns. 
you, amongst your peers and the other athletes you know, how concerned are they about conditions out in Tokyo? It's, uh, I think it's, um, uh, it's it, at the moment, it, there's got rising rates over there and they're very concerned about actually whether the games can go ahead as we'd want them to. Obviously, it's um, very, um, I don't know, it makes you very nervous about what's happened with the six athletes we're having to isolate. And we can't control who's on the plane and stuff. But obviously, we've got to be very vigilant and lots of hand washing, so wearing the mask and just be as careful as we can as possible and be very vigilant as well. I mean, you, you athletes and Paralympians and, and para-athletes para work for years in order to be at peak fitness. You've already had this delayed by one year. And the idea of getting out to Tokyo and then being told you can't compete because somebody who was sat on the plane with you had COVID, that would be terrifying. Mm. Awful, and it'd be heartbreaking. You know, we've worked so hard for this and this is our life, this is our career. And, you know, we need to be prepared for the worst as well, I think, you know, mentally and physically. Yeah. Oh. Will you be wearing the same sprint briefs in Tokyo if you were to be uh, announced <laughs> as on the Paralympic team at uh, midday? <laughs> yes, this official is not stopping me. Well, that's, that's good. good. And in know. fact, we should say England Athletics saying that they are looking into the comment and doing a full investigation. It strikes me that those briefs are going to become your lucky briefs now. Uh, oh, uh, good point. More importantly... <laughs> Never take them off. Yeah, too right. Uh, good luck with whatever happens. We'll keep our fingers crossed uh, for all of our Paralympians and all of our Olympians. Can't wait for it all to start, because it start, I think it starts on Fridays, the opening ceremony as well. Just so what we need. Fingers crossed everybody stays safe. You get out there and you can do an amazing job, which we know you will. Thank you very much. <laughs>